at least 50 Republican members of Congress who are military veterans denounced Democratic Vice Presidential pick Tim Walz on Wednesday in an open letter, accusing him of having lied about his rank in the Army National Guard and retiring before his battalion deployed. The House and Senate Republican lawmakers were led by Representative Brian Mast, who is a retired U.S. Army Staff Sergeant and chairs Veterans and Military Families for Trump. They blasted out the open record, calling out the governor for his egregious misrepresentations about his military record. You have lied your way through a political career launched on the foundation of a title you did not earn and combat deployments you did not take part in, the lawmakers wrote. To be blunt, when you falsely claim military service that did not happen and abandon your post, you diminish the real sacrifices made by veterans who did serve in combat, they said. Until you admit you lied to them, there's no way that you can be trusted to serve as vice president. The lies called out by the military veterans serving in Congress included the fact that Walls once said he served as a retired command sergeant major when in fact he had been demoted due to his early departure from his battalion. Walls has also played fast and loose on the exact time when he realized that his battalion would deploy to Iraq and the process through which he decided to step down and run for Congress, eventually winning office in 2006 while his unit deployed to Iraq the year before. Several former brothers-in-arms of the National Guard have called Walls out for what they call his stolen valor, but the Harris campaign has remained mostly silent on the issue, only issuing a statement a few weeks ago to say that the governor misspoke about his record. Walls has not made any public comments about the various allegations, other than to say he is damn proud of his service.